Hi guys, DevonTrexYZ, and we're back with more Death by Degrees. Uh, right now, I just got my hands on the IC key, well after doing puzzles out of order. <laughs> I got my hands on the IC key which allows me to unlock the J-Bots, which is needed in order to get pieces for a Chinese chessboard. For, I don't know why, but I need them. Yeah, so I'm having. I defeated one of them already in the, in the base section, but now I'm having to go back and fight off the other two bots. Of course it'd be a cage match. <laughs> Why wouldn't? Why wouldn't it be? As electrified makes it even more entertaining. What well, in a very enclosed spot like this? Jesus. Well, I don't know what type of moves that this thing even has. Your crash. <sighs> okay, uh, I'll use a medium. Yeah, you know, I might as well use some of the stuff that I haven't used in a while. Improve my defense. Improve my attack. Boost focus. And speed. Oh, come on. Trash. 
triple strike attack. <laughs> Got the soldier piece, okay. Thank you. So I got one more of these machines to defeat. At least I think. <laughs> I well, I'm hoping there's only one more because I can only remember one other place. gonna do a save because I don't trust myself again <laughs> with these lasers. Okay. I mean, this this little arena here is a little bit more bigger, I guess. Ooh, it's got a weapons.
Well, actually, I should probably kill myself before even trying to do this. I guess I get the, these things ready here. God. Oh my god. Triple head strike. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> I guess. Got the general piece. Okay, well, I think that was all the J-Bots, at least the ones I saw anyway. <laughs> okay, well... I guess that could have worked out a little better, but <laughs> yeah, I don't think there was any more J-Bots that I can think of. I mean, I'm just going to assume that was all of it, because I could only think of three. Of course, these guys are always alive. Yeah. I don't know what else to really buy. Twenty-eight 
twisted mind, I guess. Reversal. I guess, huh? So clobbered here. Might as well get out of here before I die. <laughs> Okay, I had a feeling that it was there. Okay, the general and the soldier. And I'm gonna do a save. <laughs> Okay. Something's too fishy about this. Again, <laughs> I'm hallucinating. The 
sun's gonna set soon. Let's move on. I've had enough. You're wasting my time. I'll do it. Hey, the kids stay, so don't push your luck, pal. I've got an itchy trigger finger. This is just almost a repeat of the last boss fight. <laughs> Weirdly in the same environment, too. if I don't protect myself. I mean, my younger self. This is oh, God. Go for the legs, I guess. Oh, God. I'm dying. I'm dying. trying to protect myself here. Gotta just keep trying to protect myself here. <laughs> Oh, God. 
I got three defibrillators. Well, now two, I guess. When in doubt, use machine gun. <laughs> ah, man. Got to finish her off somehow. Okay, well, that was a fun fight. <laughs> Edgar? Oh. Edgar Grant. <sighs> I suppose that's an alias, too. What can I say? You're a sweeper as well. Thanks to Lucas, everything went wrong. I'll have to destroy this ship as well. I don't want to do this, but I have no choice but to erase everything. We don't want any publicity. Uh, originally, you were supposed to survive in order to bear witness to my death. It's truly unfortunate it has to end this way. Oh. Well, I gotta say, that was a slightly shocking twist. It's too late. He's dead. Okay, well... Manji's sword. Wait, as in Yoshimitsu's sword? <laughs> it said Manji's sword. Yoshimitsu's from the Manji clan. So who ever thought Alan was actually Edgar Grant? Kind of like the one in charge of the Komiyo... Uh, what was it? The Komietta group. Well, she's barely even standing at this point. Everybody dies someday. No, no, no. There is no escape.
Well, she's gone mad. I'm still back here? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. How do I find the real one? Okay. Oh, God. Oh, get off of me. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> ah, get off. I'm gonna die again. in the world is she? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I guess using melees would just be the best option at this point. My god. Oh my god, this is getting crazy. God, I'm dying. So, 
young and strong. But you too will wither and die. Well, how tragic. Okay, where is the safe spot? <laughs> yeah, right. Salacia manual. <laughs> in an emergency, all satellites can be destroyed by setting the detonation key in the activation device and entering the detonation code. Whoever is in charge of Salacia must ensure the security of the key. Salacia project manager Lucas Hayes. Look at this pocket watch, it has a geometric pattern on its face. Rotate left and right along the sticks to move the clock hands. <laughs> Wait, what? Salacia detonation program activated. Enter detonation code within the lot of time limit. Detonation will be aborted after three failures. Ugh. Enter first code within 30, 60 seconds. Ugh. Oh, wait, <laughs> what's the code? Don't know. Well, okay. Wait. <laughs> I don't even know what the code is. How the I don't know what the code is. How would I know? Okay. <laughs> I mean, is it just what I'm seeing on the... Enter the code. Must be the thing that I'm looking at right there, right? Enter in 30 seconds, so T. Okay. Ten seconds. <laughs> I 
Ah, okay. Well, had an idea anyway. Okay. Took some effort. <laughs> All the satellites have been destroyed. Seven minutes. Less than seven, really. So I got the red card key. Allows access to all areas. Okay. Actually, was there any anything in that direction? <laughs> All right, just kind of double checking here. Okay, yeah, there was the elevator area. That's yeah, that's the secret elevator. <laughs> oh, got it. Holy cow. Okay. <laughs> I got a feeling I'm down to the last part of this game here. Detonating forward bulkheads. Please brace for shock. Oof. 
Gotta go down. Oh my god. My god. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of the spot here. I mean, there's only one door left that I haven't gone through yet, so... Hopefully it's not blocked. At least I'm hoping it's not blocked. <laughs> Lock has been deactivated. Okay. It's some sort of launch pod, but there's nothing inside of it. Yeah, might as well. This ship is going to explode. Oh, man. Whoa, okay, that's bad. Rescue chopper? Oh. <laughs> well, nice to see Anna again, but where did she come from? <laughs> that place is gonna blow up. Is it really the right time to have a fight? <laughs> Oh my god. I've changed since those days. There's a little bit more resilience in the last fight. <laughs> Triple attack. Oh, God, exploding barrels. Uh, 
really adds more to my problems here. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> well, at least she takes damage, too. <laughs> I wish I could use my weapons. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't even grab her. <laughs> okay, well, I'm about to go down. Luckily, I can use my stuff here. I'm pretty sure this is like the final boss fight anyway. <laughs> so I could probably go all out. Come on. <laughs> Is the fight over yet? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> okay. Slap to the face. That was a little random. <laughs> Sadly, yes. Oh, come on. I couldn't even see the barrel. Major damage. I'm gonna need more health again. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm trying. <laughs> well, at least the exploding barrels will help me out here. Maybe. Oh. Okay, well, we're practically the same character. I'm I'm trying. <laughs> Getting there. <laughs> I'm getting there. Oh. Okay, well. One more for that. I'll use a medium water. Maybe. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Almost getting me into a tender combo. Okay, come on. Oh my god, I'm trying. Go exploding barrels, help me out here. Oh Jesus.
Okay. Is that all you've got? One more time. Ah, what a touching moment, I guess. <laughs> Well, I guess that sibling rivalry will still continue, right? <laughs> With any luck, we won't need your help. But if the time comes, we'll be counting on you, Sweeper. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. <laughs> well, there you have it. Death by degrees. <laughs> well, I gotta say, uh, for the one and only Tekken spinoff game, uh, I mean, it's, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's not great. Far from it. It's far from being great. But it's not like a terrible game all in all, but... You know, overall, it just, it's, I guess it's a different take on Tekken in general, I guess. You know, I, I mean, it's just, it's a lot different compared to, like, the typical fighting games from the other, uh, from the, uh, you know, from the rest of the series. It's, I don't know, it, it's kind of a little bit of an identity crisis here, because it kind of has that same Resident Evil-esque feel to it, but also kind of trying to go stealthy, like Metal Gear. But it kind of has the awkward beat-em-up section, so I, I don't know. It just kind of feels 
the game kind of feels like it's trying to be everything at once. <laughs> I don't know. And then on top of that, it's just the control scheme itself is also... Uh, yeah, I mean, the control scheme itself is also not really that great in of itself as well. I, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not really sure who greenlit the the game to have uh, the sticks for combat, but it was kind of one of the one of the terrible feelings for this game. I, I could never really get used to the controls, and honestly, it just kind of hindered my experience. Then also with the camera, the camera just seems to be the camera just seems to be uh, kind of a mix between a, a fixed camera perspective like Resident Evil, but you could also switch with third person perspective, but I don't know. Yeah, I I can't really say. It's like I wasn't wasn't really sure what it's trying to be. <laughs> but overall the story wasn't too bad. Uh kind of somewhat original, I'd say. But I guess in the end it's kind of it's kind of just good guys winning against the bad guys. Kind of kind of the typical message is <laughs> That we usually get. But overall, I'd say it wasn't too bad. Overall, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, so <laughs> although granted, I guess I can see why they never really made a uh a, a true you know another uh, spin-off for Tekken. But you know, overall it wasn't too bad of an attempt. In my opinion, anyway. Okay, so <laughs> difficulty was at normal. My level was at max. I had over almost close to 37,000 points. Highest combo was 45. Took me 15 hours to complete. <laughs> and that's mainly because, well, I think I 13 continues, 39 saves. Yeah, I had to continue quite a bit. Weirdly, a lot uh, because of that. Uh, you know, that railgun's you know, laser puzzle at the very end. <laughs> kind of died about like five or six times, I think. Yeah, so rank is at two. <laughs> Animos unlocked. Got the challenge mode. Sniper mode. Stingray mode. Honeycomb lock mode. Oh god, more of that stuff. Music player. The garment bag, which I think that was... I think that's for you to... Change costumes, I think. Bonus image, 24-6 obtained. This image may be viewed in music player. Okay, safe clear data. Unsafe data will be lost. So, yeah. Why not? <laughs> I'll save it in slot 3. <laughs> New game plus. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, you got your game modes. Actually, I don't think you ever even gave me a... Well, I know you got beginner mode. If you wanted a really easier experience, normal, hard. Same thing with the anim stuff. I might consider doing a recording for anim mode. I don't. I think from what I've heard, it's not as long as the Nina, the full main game. I think it's just more like a side game, kind of like. I guess kind of like what, like separate ways in a way, like in Resident Evil Four, maybe even less than that to be honest. <laughs> And of course, I got all these challenges. So many challenges. I mean, I think I might try a couple, but I'm, I'm not going to guarantee I'm going to finish any of these. <laughs> yeah, you got your. Yeah, so I got the movie player. I guess just all the cutscenes I've. Yeah, all the cutscenes. 
plus the bonus movie for Tekken 5. <laughs> yeah, because this game is around the same uh, release date as Tekken 5, so yeah, got the music player. I mean, I guess... Oh, so I guess it's kind of more like a concept art kind of thing. Huh. No comics will wonder... So it's a music player slash concept art, essentially. <laughs> I kind of just wonder how to get these bonus images, though, at the very end of all of this. I kind of wonder. <laughs> yeah, and I'm guessing the challenge mode is just going through individual challenges. Okay, well, yeah, I want to do individual challenges, I guess. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess if you wanted to complete challenges there, regular combat challenges, sniper challenges, stingray. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they got quite a bit. <laughs> They got quite a bit, I can tell you that. Uh, yeah, so at least the main game is done. And then, like I said, overall, I thought it was okay, you know? A lot of improvements could have been needed for here. But, you know, for an attempt for a spin-off game for a Tekken franchise, I, I'd say it wasn't too bad. Uh, yeah, you know, you just had to kind of get used to the feeling of the controls and the camera angles and... Yeah, it's just something you kind of have to adapt to in order to really play this game, but no, it, was, it wasn't too bad. Alright guys, this is DelphinTrackXYZ, and until next time.